एवरीवन दिस इज पी के एस वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिस्टम डिजाइन कॉम्पोनेट सो गाइस लेट्स अज्यूम रियल टाइम एप्लीकेशन दैट इज यू कैन कंसीडर फेसबुक इंस्टाग्राम द मोस्ट पॉपुलर सोशल मीडिया राइट सो वी नो एज ए एब्सट्रैक्शन हाउ इट वर्क बट बिहाइंड द सीन वॉट आर द कॉम्पोनेट्स टू बिल्ड सच ए बिग प्लेटफॉर्म और बिग एप so going to uh, with each of them this video will be short i will go with small description about each component but i will make a separate video of each components so let's start it so number one we can say web server so for an example let's say you have a uh, java application to to run that java application you need a apache web server Similarly, if you have a Node.js application, तो might be you have Node.js server or Nginx as a server, right? Number two is API, right? So API is something which you provide to your front-end team or client team, which has the a JSON response, right? So basically, uh, you can use SOAP API. that is a xml based or rest api which is the most popular one and everybody is using that and another is microservice as well right next component is load balancer i already covered this particular topic in detail in a separate video load balancer is a device based basically help in distributing your load or balancing your traffic so you can use aws elp or maybe if you are using some other cloud service then you can use another cloud based elps right another component is the net is number 4 that is database the heart of your application or you can say the entire core of the basically that particular app right so whatever business logic you have written in your api you store data in some database right so for an example maybe you have a relational database or a no sql database so in relational database mysql oracle postgres are popular one if you are going with no sql data we have segregated another in uh, document data document db maybe a uh, key value database like so if we talk about document db we can use mongo db or couch db if we talk about a key value pair that means we can use uh, redis or amazon dynamo db right the next component is full text search right so definitely you have seen in facebook even you search your friend by the name or something user id or email right so that is a fuzzy search or full text search for that particular use you can use elastic search or solera right next component is that is number 6 is cdn right cdn is if you are located at a distributed location and might be uh, you are serving global traffic right so in that particular case or if you have a video related platform like instagram or anything or which is more scalable platform so you can you want to cache some data you want to store data which is nearest to your customer so you want to maintain a data center or something which is nearest to your customer that to serve that request in minimum latency right so for that particular sake you can use cdn there are two things you can use akamai or amazon cloud front as a cdn right the next component is distributed storage system right this is if you are storing a profile image or a video right so you can store those files in amazon s3 or 
Hadoop HDFS or even you can store those files into CDN as well right the next component is monitoring your system right yani ki you have to monitor your system since you have a lot of things in at the back end maybe you want to monitor entire uh, uh, apis back end front end all the stuff right so that for uh, for that particular task you should need a monitoring system so there are a lot of third party based system already exist for example you can use corelogix neuralic datadog and kibana as well right these are the options which you can use for the monitoring your system next component is that is number 9 the most important one you want to run your code you want to execute your code for that you need machines you need computers right or you need some cloud solution if your application is big or enterprise level application right so there are options available you can use aws as a cloud Uh, GCP as a cloud or Azure as a cloud. All the three companies are a major giant. You can choose as per the affordability and according to your convenience. Right. The next component is that is number tenth, cache. So cache is something which will save your database. So if you want to avoid lot of requests, not go to your database. maybe uh, your application is highly uh, read intensive and write in intensive so you want to cache your data or maybe there are some data pointers which you want to cache so you can read you can use redis and memcache as a redis the next important component is that is number 11 messaging queues right so in any application we want some async behavior or maybe there are something which we want to do on a scale and we distribute things in a way ki we want to achieve performance right so for that functionality we have rabbit mq we have aws sqs we want kafka right apache kafka we can use so for example you want to send notification or you want to send email or a push notification or push sms so for these type of things you can use these queues right the next and the last component is analytics so for any application analytics is essential required you want some reporting about your customers your engagement your traffic right so maybe you have some technologies which can use maybe you are using spark hadoop right maybe you have mix panel uh, at the end which uh, maybe your events are capturing at the front end side and you are checking mix panel or funnel so that's all for this particular video guys this is for uh, a small description for each component that those are essential to building a big platform like facebook or any other right i will cover each and every component in detail right so that you will understand why when and everything so that overall system design concept will be covered right so that's all by happy learning mm -hmm.